The experimental setup consists of a Comau Smart 3S industrial robot. The robot manipulator has six revolute joints with a nospherical wrist. The native controller is the C3G9000, a VME-based system. An open control architecture is available for this robot. Bus-to-bus -bus communication links are established with a PC Pentium at 133 MHz, where control algorithms can be implemented as C modules. In order to carry out experiments of interaction control, an ATI-3100 force torque sensor is mounted at the tip of the robot manipulator via a suitable tool adapter. In the following experiments, different impedance control algorithms are tested at one millisecond sampling time. The feature of impedance control can be best understood if a surface is placed in such a way as to obstruct the commanded path. When the end effector tool comes in contact with the surface, a compliant motion is obtained so as to accommodate the interaction force and moment. When performing a six degree of freedom interaction task, a spatial impedance has to be considered, involving an end effector position displacement, as well as an end effector orientation displacement. According to the classical operational space approach, the orientation displacement is given by the difference between the actual and the desired set of other angles. When an external moment is applied about one of the two axes, rotations are induced also about the other two axes. In order to overcome this drawback, a geometrically consistent approach can be pursued. The orientation displacement is extracted from the mutual rotation matrix between the actual and the side and effective frame, either in terms of three Euler angles or in terms of a unit quaternion. Now, the rotation occurs about the same axis of the applied moment. A comparison between the two approaches under the same impedance parameters is carried out when the end effector comes in contact with the surface at a configuration close to a representation singularity. The recorded data confirm that the performance is much better with the geometrically consistent approach. Notice how the values of the contact force and moment on the bottom are smaller than those on the top with the operational space approach.